250. Let's go. Family, today, baby, look, what a great way to start episode three at 250, baby. <laughs> Started episode three at 250 is pretty good. That's a pretty good feeling. You know, I might be losing weight too quick. I don't know. I really don't know. Like the first two or three days, I was like 255, 255, 255. And then boom, like 253 or 252. And then boom, today 250. I'm going to do this for like two or three weeks. If it's like I'm dropping too quick, then I have to bring my calories up. On the cusp of breaking two, I'm on the cusp of breaking 250. Like, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's Funky Friday. I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna get some Starbucks. Peace. We are done 35 ish minutes this is a beautiful day today 38 minutes but but three minutes i spent washing my hands so today at the gym i just did arms arms is definitely my weak point my arms like never <laughs> get big so if anybody has tips greatly appreciate it now i'm on my way to get a coffee well deserved Twenty ounces of black coffee. That can't be good for you. I don't even know why I do that, but I just, I just love it. The rest of the day, though, it's gonna be these bad boys. It's time for the first meal of the day. I wanted to eat sooner, but it's life. I gotta just eat when I can. We are gonna have pound of ground chicken. Not beating that. That's like a hundred grams of protein, right, right there. With that, we're gonna have some fruit, maybe some cheese. I'm feeling so good right now, so strong. I want to see how many push-ups I can do. Fasted after the gym. If I could do 20 push-ups at 250 pounds, that's pretty good. Ten. Thirty. Uh, I know you saw them push-ups. <laughs> I still got it. Yes, sir. Two meals a day. It is what it is, and like a couple snacks. But it was almost twelve hundred calories. I had ground chicken on four slices of, I guess, keto bread, but just counting them as normal carbs with uh, fruits, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have the meal summary on the screen as I normally do. Nothing much else to do besides eat and work out <laughs> and drink water. <laughs> Peace. Tell me when. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> wait, let's wait. Action, we are, action. We are here, are we? We are here at the Shake Shack at the Whitney Houston rest stop enjoying a romantic dinner. This is gonna be the last meal of the day to put me at and a little bit over my macros for the day. I am enjoying two fat double Shake Shack burgers. One with tomatoes, even though I didn't ask for tomatoes, and one with pickles. I think actually this is my girlfriend's. And one with no tomatoes. After this meal, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day. I'm gonna be spending time with my family. Today is my father's birthday, so I don't think I'm going to record for the rest of the day. So that wraps up my funky Friday, and my total macros are gonna be on the screen. Peace, and never forget to stand for something good. <laughs> Monday, money Monday. Friday and Saturday, we're super busy uh, celebrating my dad's birthday. 
Sunday I was planning to record, but it was pouring rain here in New Jersey and then my basement actually started flooding. Saturday, unfortunately, I was not able to stick to my diet plan. I ate pretty much nothing on Saturday. That's how busy I was. Yesterday I was able to eat more. I think I was below my calories by not that much. Today I weighed myself at 250. 0.8 pounds similar to what I weighed myself on Friday. So this week we're gonna get back to it Peace. While on my walk to the gym. I wanted to give you three little nuggets To guarantee weight loss one is gonna be you got to be in a caloric deficit. That's it Caloric deficit. It's not about the the macros. It's not about eating donuts every day It's being in a caloric deficit if you're burning more calories than you eat in a day You will lose weight now, if it's fat or if it's muscle, that's different. But just strictly pounds, if you're in a caloric deficit for an extended period of time, you will lose weight for sure. Number two is consistency. Consistency, consistency is key to everything. Without consistency, there will be no results. That's with everything in life. And number three is a twofer. It's gonna be drinking water and getting enough sleep super slept on and super underrated like nobody realizes how important that is you need to get sleep seven to eight hours it's not hard and you need to drink water i want to drink a gallon a day but if you can get half that's a good start and the gym is done Oh, almost tripped. I did like 35 minutes after stretching and warming up. I was only able to bench and then I did three sets of pec flies, which I didn't record because the gym was starting to get a little bit packed. But it is what it is. Goes back to what I said. You know, if I can only squeeze in the 30, 40 minutes, I'm going to do what I can. Better than nothing. So chest day is done. I'm going to go home and cook. All of these days I've been getting my sleep. I just got a notification that I hit my sleep goal for the last week, which is awesome. Nothing else to say about that. And that is going to wrap it up for Monday the 19th. For dinner, I had what is on the screen with the macros. And then my last meal for the day, which I had like an hour ago, was figs with some cheese. I had a total of 2,372 calories today. I did change around my macros. The caloric intake goal is still the same daily at 2,530 calories except my macros are different. I'm having more fats, good fats, and less carbs. It just made more sense because I was eating more fats than I was carbs. So to make it more convenient for myself, I switched up the macros. So we'll see how that goes. That's the end of today. Catch you guys tomorrow. What's going on? It's Wednesday, the 21st. I decided not to record anything for Tuesday and today because the days I worked is just like not a lot of content. Yesterday I weighed myself at 250 pounds, 0.2. I went to the gym, I did legs, not chest, not arms. No, actually I, I did legs. And I ate 2,700 and something calories yesterday. Come on, come on, your boy's doing it. Today, I weighed 250.2 pounds and I ate 2,380 calories today. So we're cruising. That is going to wrap it up for episode three. Super exciting stuff. I want to break 250. Come on. I need to break 250. Anyways, 